Hey Divine Ones, it's Latoya Okia, your life coach and your motivational speaker. Give y'all a minute or two to pop in here. Give y'all a minute or two to pop in here. Hey Naisha. Hey Alexis Cochran. Hey Darius Townsend. Hey Bernard George. Hey TC. How you doing, Ty? Hey Ashley True. Hey Deja. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I was going over my message for tomorrow because y'all know tomorrow is Fire Friday, okay? I was going over my message for tomorrow and as the Holy Spirit was just giving it to me, the Holy Spirit was just pouring into me, I said, Lord, I can't give them all this at one time. I ain't going to be able to give it all to them at one time. And the Holy Spirit said, don't release all of it today, but God said, just give them a prelude. <laughs> Some people say a prelude, 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 however you want to say it. But this is a prelude, prelude to tomorrow's message. Now listen, I need y'all to share this live. I need y'all to share this video because the message that's going to come in the morning, now nah, that's the fire, okay? I'm, I might be, y'all might get a little bit, hey Ashley, y'all might get a little bit, hey Chelsea Henderson, hey Angie Reed, how y'all doing? But y'all may get a little bit of the fire today, but I'm going to really bring the fire tomorrow now. Because tomorrow fire Friday, so y'all going to get the fire tomorrow. But you might get a little bit of the fire today, but you're going to get all the fire tomorrow. But I had to come today and give y'all a little backstory for the word that I'm going to bring tomorrow. Because it was, as the Holy Spirit was just unleashing that thing to me, baby. I said, God, this is too much for me to give them at one time. I ain't going to be able to give it all to them at one time. And God did not clear me to release the whole word today. But God said, just give them a prelude today. Just give them a little bit of what they're going to get tomorrow. So that's what this is. This is the prelude to what y'all going to get tomorrow. So my light just keeps going in and out in this car. So y'all let me know if I'm still showing up okay. If y'all can still see me pretty well. Okay. Now listen, y'all. In the book of Numbers, and I'm talking about the Holy Spirit was just like, boom, 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 boom. Go right here. Go right there. Go right here. Go right there. And I was just like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let me get my notebook. Let me get my journal. Let me write this stuff down. Because y'all know, baby, when the Holy Spirit, hey, Moses, thank you so much for tuning in all the way from Nigeria. Wow. Glory be to God. Y'all come on in today. Listen, y'all know how it is when the Holy Spirit just go. Thank you, Sharika. When the Holy Spirit just go to giving you that thing, just giving you that word. You think you can hold it all in here, baby. You cannot hold that all in here. Do you hear me? You got to get you something to write that stuff down. You got to write it down. Listen to me, y'all. When God started dealing with y'all, everybody, I don't care if you male or female, you need a journal. Say what you want to say. Some of y'all think journals are for females. That stuff is feminine. The devil is a lie. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. You better have you a journal. You better have you something you write down your thoughts with. Because God finna give y'all some million dollars, some million dollar ideals. Do you hear me? And God said a lot of this stuff gonna come to you in the middle of the night. This stuff is getting ready to come to y'all at midnight when everybody else in the house is asleep. God finna give you an idea that's gonna make you a millionaire. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. And God said, if you don't write it down, y'all better hear me today. He said, if you don't get you something and write it down, God said, you're gonna miss your breakthrough. You're gonna miss your blessing because you think you can hold it in here. How many of y'all ever woke up, you had a dream and you woke up and you tried all you could to remember that dream and you could not remember that dream or maybe you remember pieces of it when you first woke up but as the day went on, you couldn't even recall the pieces that you remember when you first woke up. That's because of the way your mind worked, baby. When your mind get to going and moving, you forget that stuff. That's why you better write it down. Glory be to God. Better write it down. Somebody put that in the comments Say so you better write it down. I don't care if you are a genius. I don't care if your intelligence is up here. I don't care if your IQ is through the roof. You better write that stuff down. Glory be to God. I feel the power of God, baby, because I have to write this stuff down. But let me, I'm, let me, let me get, let me get on what God told me to do now. Let me stay on task. I gotta stay on task. Okay, now I can't give y'all all the all of you're gonna have to come in the morning to get the rest of it. So make sure your notifications are set to my personal page, Latoya O'Kill. Make sure your notifications are set because God said this word is gonna break generational curses. Y'all listen to me. God said this word that I'm gonna bring to y'all for Fire Friday tomorrow, baby. That word gonna break them curses off of you. That 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 devil, that demon, them spirits that been on you that you ain't been able to shake. That spirit of poverty, that spirit of fear. God said that word that I'm gonna bring 
praying tomorrow. Holy Spirit going to preach that thing. Do you hear me? And God said, you better be in the building, baby. You better be in the virtual building. You better have your notifications set for Fire Friday, baby, because God got a word that going to shake the gates of hell. Do you hear me? God got a word, baby, that going to break you free from the devil. The devil going to have to move out your way. Come on now. Y'all put that in the comments. Say, the devil got to move out my way, baby, because it's Fire Friday. It's Fire Friday tomorrow, and I ain't playing. Somebody said, we ain't playing, baby. We ain't playing. Devil better move out the way. <laughs> get bite, devil. Get bite. Come on now. But listen, this is what God told me to release to y'all today. In the book of Numbers. In the book of Numbers, okay? The, in the book of Numbers, the 13th chapter. The 13th chapter. God told Moses to send the children of Israel out. This is, this is instructions from God. Now, this is what, when God spoke to Moses, God told Moses, he said, I want you to get, I want you to go tell the children of Israel, I want you to send them out to go spy out the land of Canaan. He said, I want you, in other words, God said, now I got this land that I done promised to you. Glory be to God. He said, I got this, I got this property that I have promised you. But the Lord said, the Lord told Moses, he said, I want you to go tell the children of Israel to go into the land and spy out the land. I want them to go and search the land and then come back and give you a report. Y'all listen now. This is the prelude for the word tomorrow. You got to get this before you get the word tomorrow. Because if you don't get this today, you're gonna you're not going to get the word tomorrow. So y'all tell everybody that they can't just show up on Fire Friday tomorrow. And when they say they're coming to Fire Friday, ask them, did you see the prelude? <laughs> they going to say, baby, what you talk about? Tell them, baby, you got to come see the prelude or you ain't going to you ain't going to get you ain't going to be able to receive the word tomorrow unless you see the prelude today come on now because this is the background this is the foundation y'all know god have to lay a strong foundation before god go to building on that thing and god said this is the foundation for the word come on now this is the foundation for your breakthrough this is the foundation for what god getting ready to build in your life glory be to god now listen God told Moses, he said, I want you to send the children of Israel to spy out the land. And God didn't just tell him to send anybody. Listen now. God said, I want you to get the rulers of the tribes. Come on now. In other words, God said, I want you to get the head of every tribe from the children of Israel. And he said, I want you to send the head man in. Y'all listen to me. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Say the head man. Holy Spirit been preaching this thing to me the afternoon, baby. I've been shining all over this house. Do you hear me? My neighbors probably heard me today because I've been shining all over this thing. God told took me in the word and God started moving me through that thing. God said, I told Moses, he said, I don't want you to just send anybody in now. Listen, God said, I want you to get the head man. Y'all put that in the comments. Say, send the head man in. Uh-huh. God said, send the head man in and go check out this land that I done promised you. Come on now. Cause God said, I got a land for you, baby, that is flowing with milk and honey. I got a land for you, baby, where it, he said the fat grapes are all over that land. In other words, God said, there's opportunity left and right. Do you hear me? The Lord say, in that land that I have promised you, there is overflow there is abundance there is prosperity oh i feel the power of the holy ghost glory be to god god said baby but i need you to go out and he said i need you to go check on this land come on now god said i need you to send the head man to go spy in this land and see what i have promised you glory be to god that's why i ain't scared of the devil baby because i'm just like caleb do you hear me i done went in and i done peeked into the land glory be to god i done seen the promises of god for my life and i done seen the promises of god for your life baby that's why i tell you you better not be afraid do you hear me you better not forfeit your destiny glory be to god but listen to what god said god said don't just send any man i want you to send the head man in send the head man in and listen y'all for 40 days Somebody put that in the comments for 40 days. Woo. For 40 days, they stayed there and they searched out the land. Now, these were the rulers of the children of Israel. These were the rulers from every tribe. God said, don't just send anybody. He said, I want you to send the head man in. You know why God told him to send the head man in, baby? Because if, 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 if you can get the head in line, everything else is going to fall in line. Do you hear me? And also, the devil know that if he can get to the head, that he got everybody else. Glory be to God. Oh, you think the devil worried about you? The devil ain't worried about you, baby. He after that one that you worship. Do you hear me? He after that one that you put up on a pedestal. Because if he can get them to fall, he can make you fall. Glory be to God. Y'all ain't saying that in here today. Uh-huh. Y'all know how they say it with the snake. How you kill a snake? You got to take the head off. Glory be to God. Until you take the head off, baby, you just chop around at something. And that thing will still bite you and kill you. But once you take that head off, baby, it's gone. Do you hear me? After the head gone, the body going to follow. Glory be to God. And that's why God told Moses, he said, I want you to send the head man in. Come on now. I want you to tell the head man to go because God said, if, if the head man go and come back with a good report, God said, then the folks going to get up. Come on now. He said, the children of Israel going to get up because they going to do what the head say. 
Come on now. You're going to do what the head man say, even if you don't want to do it. If the head man tell you you can do it, you're going to get up and do it. Y'all know I'm telling you the truth. Come on now. So that's why God said, I need you to send the head man in. Glory be to God. But listen to what they did. Listen to what they did now. They sent the head man in. And the head man went to go spy out the land. And search and look into this land that God had promised them. Listen, 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 listen. So the report that they gave when they came back, somebody say, it's in the report. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Say, it's in the report. It's in the report, baby. Listen to me. I hear the Holy Ghost say, whose report will you believe? Who you gonna believe? Are you gonna believe what the devil said? Or are you gonna believe what God said? Come on now. God said it's in the report. Whose report will you believe? <laughs> Y'all listen now. Now this is the report they gave when they came back. Numbers 13 and 28. Y'all gonna look at this scripture too. Cause God telling me to tell y'all to go read this scripture. Go read the, the book of Numbers, the 13th chapter tonight. And God said, you gonna, he said a fire gonna fall on you tomorrow, baby. This the prelude, but you gotta go in your word. Don't take my word for it. Go in the word and read it for yourself. I want every person under the sound of my voice. You might ain't picked up a Bible in two months, but you gonna pick up one today. Come on now. I want you to go in the book of Numbers, the 13th chapter. And I want you to read that chapter. And you gonna be ready for fire Friday tomorrow, baby. The fire gonna fall on you do you hear me i need y'all to be up and ready baby i'm gonna be here live at 8 a.m central 9 a.m eastern standard time tomorrow morning bringing the fire baby but i need y'all to read that chapter tonight so y'all will be ready for it glory be to god because this is the report that they gave when they came back numbers 13 i'm gonna start with 20 at the 28 verse it says nevertheless this is what they're saying. Now, this is the ruler. Y'all put this in the comments. Say, this is what the head man said. Listen, y'all. This is what the head man said. This is what the ruler said. These, these are the rulers of the tribes. This is what they said. They said, nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in that land. Ooh. And the cities are walled and very great. Ooh. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. Glory be to God. Now, this is what the, the rulers are saying. They talking about how great the walls are in the city. Come on now. They talking about how strong the people are in that city. Glory be to God. And God said, you know why they were doing that? God said, because they did not believe in themselves. Listen to me. God said they didn't have no confidence in themselves. And God said they were looking at these people as being big and strong and mighty and they begin to be and they begin to be afraid and that's why god told me he said don't you move in the spirit of fear god said fear is demonic do you understand me y'all better understand what i'm saying to you today god said that spirit that's in you of fear god said you better understand that that's just what it is it's a spirit and god said you better bind that thing today because he said if you do not bind that spirit of fear it will cause you to forfeit your destiny I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. God said you better get rid of that fear today, baby, because that fear will not serve you. Y'all put that in the comments. Say fear will not serve me in this season. If I don't bind this spirit of fear, glory be to God. If I don't move fear out my way, fear is going to cause me to forfeit my destiny. And I cannot forfeit my destiny. Come on now. I cannot give up on what God has promised me. Glory be to God. God said, I don't care if you got to fight through hell with bare feet and pregnant. I don't care if you got to fight through hell with a baby on your hip. God said, don't you forfeit your destiny, woman. Come on now. Don't you forfeit your destiny, man. God said, I done left some stuff for you. Do you not know that all of the promises of God, whoo, all of the promises of God are yes and amen. Come on now. God God said, what you want? God, yeah, let me let me tell y'all something about the God you serve, baby. God said, what you want, baby? God said, I'll give it to you on a platter. Do you hear me? But God said, you got you to get rid of that fear because that fear will not serve you in this season. Fear is demonic. God said, that's a spirit that did not come from me. Come on now. And God said, you got to send it back to the pits of hell from whence it came. Because if you don't bind that spirit, it's going to cause you to forfeit your destiny. Glory be to God. Now, y'all listen. The 30th verse. Whew. I feel like Caleb today, baby. Let me tell y'all what Caleb said. Glory be to God. Now, these the rulers were speaking, talking about how scared they was and how big and mighty these men was in the promised land. And here go Caleb. Listen to Caleb. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it. Woo. For we are well able to overcome it. Let me break this thing down, Sharika, like this M16. Glory be to God. In other words, Caleb said, uh-uh, 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 move out the way. Move out the way. I'm paraphrasing this thing because I got to break it down so the baby can understand. 
understand it. Come on now. Caleb said, move out the way, move out the way. This these folks ain't nothing. Come on now. These folks ain't nothing. We can take these folks. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Said we can take these folks. Glory be to God. What I tell you all the time, baby, forget these folks. It's gonna be some folks that gonna be in the room that God has promised you. Come on now. It's some folks that's living on property that God has promised you. God said, forget these folks, baby. God said, you, you can take them. You can take them. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Said, oh, I can take them. Glory be to God. That's what Caleb said. Caleb said, forget all that. You talking about how big and strong these folks is. You talking about how big and mighty this city is. Caleb said, forget all that, baby. We can take these folks. Let go. Caleb had that let's go spirit, baby. Caleb said, let's go. I'm ready to bust off in this thing. Let go get the land that God done promised us. Let's go. Glory be to God. But then listen, y'all. Listen, listen. Listen to the 31st verse. It say, but the men that went up with him said, we are not able. Whew. God help me. Glory be to God. The men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people. Ooh, but they are stronger than we. Glory be to God. And I hear the Holy Ghost say, what you been saying about your problems? Come on now. What you been saying about these people that's been standing in your way? What you been saying, what you been saying about these people that's been standing in the way of your breakthrough? Glory be to God. God said, don't you let these folks stop you today. Do you understand me? Y'all put that in the comments. Say, I won't let nobody stop me. Glory be to God. Don't you let nobody stop you, baby. Whoever is standing in your way, God said you better move them folks out your way. Do you understand me? He said, don't you let no giant cause you to forfeit your destiny. Glory be to God. Because we well, let me tell you something. What is your destiny? Some of y'all, what is, what is destiny? What does that mean? Destiny is your destination in God, baby. Do you understand me? You ain't down here just to be marking time. You ain't down here just to look pretty and look cute and take glam shots and selfies every day. Come on now. God said that's all right, woman, but where you going? Come on now. Where you going, man? You got to have some of that. You got to have a destination for your life. You got to have a destiny. Where are you going? Y'all put that in the comments. Say, where are you going? Where you trying to get to? If you ain't got no way you're trying to get to and God said you ain't even living he said you're just waiting to die glory be to God I feel the power of the Holy Ghost oh this word came to shake somebody today I don't care how old you is God said his word go from the head all the way down come on now because God said that's why I sent the head man oh my God God said I want to let you know that this word that's going forth it go from the head all the way down to the little bitty babies Glory be to God. Don't you let fear stop you and listen to what God said. God said, if you let your fear cause you to forfeit your destiny, he said, your children, your babies are going to have to get up and fight for what you should have fought for. Glory be to God. Right now, I'm warring with some things in the spirit. Come on now. Right now, I'm dealing with some things in the spirit because of some stuff that my ancestors left. Y'all listen to me now. They left this stuff and they did not conquer it. So now I got to be on front line and battle with this stuff hand to hand. Come back. Come on now. And I got to I gotta let you understand that this ain't no physical battle. Glory be to God. That's why I don't get mad at these folks in the physical because it ain't got nothing to do with them. Do you understand me? Because the Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Come on now. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Say, this ain't no flesh and, blood, ble, flesh and blood battle. Come on now. But you wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places. Glory be to God. Where you going? You got to know where you going, baby. Where you going is a question of destiny. That's your destination. If you don't know where you're going, you'll stop off with anybody. Come on now. You'll do anything because you ain't got no destination for your life. If you don't know why you're here, you ain't got no purpose for your life. You'll do anything. Y'all ever meet folk, they'll do anything. They'll say anything. They don't care where they go. They don't care what they do. That's because they ain't got no purpose and they ain't got no destiny. Come on now. God said you better take your destiny today and you better not let fear cause you to forfeit. Glory be to God. But listen. Listen to the 32nd verse. We in Numbers, the 13th chapter now. Listen to the 32nd verse. It says, and all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature. These are the rulers talking. Glory be to God. Y'all put this in the comments. Say, this the head man talking. He, they said, and all the people that were in that land that we saw are men of great stature. Glory be to God. And listen to the 32nd, 33rd verse. It says, and we were in our own sight. Glory be to God. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Say, in our own sight. Them the key words right there. Listen to what they said. They said, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. Glory be to God. As grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. Now, God gave me a revelation. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, God is on me. Do you understand me? God gave me a revelation. God said, when they said that they look, they, they said that the men that was in the promised land was so big, they were like, they were giants. And the, and the ruler said that we are like grasshoppers in their eyes, in our own sight. And God gave me a revelation from those words in our own sight. God said, they ain't never asked the giants what they were. 
was. Come on now. They ain't never go out there in front of the giants and defeat them and stand before them. God said they said that within themselves. I feel the power of God. And God said when you pulled up on that job, when you pulled up on that opportunity, God said some of y'all was so scared you wouldn't even go forth. Glory be to God. He said you wouldn't even step off in front of the devil because of your fear. And he said you let your fear stop you from chasing your dream. And God said when you did that, you just forfeited your destiny. Come on now. Because God said you done put them folks up in a big statue in your eyes. You saying, oh, they got their education. Come on now. Oh, they got their degrees. Oh, oh, they are so articulate. Oh, oh, they got their briefcase. Come on now. Oh, they got the Armani suits. I ain't got no suit. My clothes came from Dollar General. My clothes came from Walmart. I ain't got the clothes that they got. Oh, I ain't got the bundles that they got. Oh, I ain't got the minks that they got. I mean, God, uh -huh. God said, that's what you're doing. He said, you belittling yourself in your own sight. And God said, you are making yourself appear to be grasshoppers unto these folks. But God said, you ain't even step out in front of them folks because God said had you stepped out in front of them God said you would have found out who you really was glory be to God but God said because you sat out in your fear come on now and you said that they are at, that we are like grasshoppers to them God said you ain't no grasshopper God said that's what you say about your own self I feel the power of the Holy Ghost God said stop belittling yourself he said every time you doubt yourself God said it grieves my heart Woo. God said do you not know every time you don't believe in yourself every time you sit in disbelief and every time you lack confidence God said it destroys my heart God said it grieves my heart because God said I know what I put in you woman come on now he said I know what I put in you man God said you ain't no grasshopper come on now God said that's what you say about your own self glory be to God don't you let your fear cause you to forfeit your destiny. Come on now. Because that's what the children of Israel did. The first generation of the children of Israel. Come on now. Millions of people had to die. Glory be to God. They had to die in the desert. Do you understand me? Because they let their fear cause them to forfeit their destiny. A land that the Lord had already given to them. Y'all listen to me. All they had to do was go forth. And God was going to move their enemies out their way. Y'all better understand what I'm saying to you today. Come on now. God said, do you not know? He said, all you got to do is step up there. Ooh. God said, all you got to do is get out that car and go up there. God said, don't be scared to talk to them folks. He said, do not be afraid of their faces. Do you understand me? God said, go up there and look the devil straight in his eye and tell him what you came to get. Glory be to God. Don't you let fear cause you to forfeit your destiny. Do you understand me? Don't you be sitting up there talking about, I am a lie. I'm like a grasshopper in their eyes. Oh, they don't see. They not gonna. I don't belong here. Y'all never went somewhere as a speaker. You ever went somewhere to speak, or you ever did a job for somebody? Whatever your occupation is, you went. You did a job for somebody, or you went to provide a service for somebody, and you felt like the folks in that room had more money than you. They had more stature than you. They had more social status than you. Come on now, and you sit up there and belittle yourself in your mind. You sat up there and belittle yourself in front of them folks, and made yourself to appear like a grasshopper to them folks. And then what happened? And that's the way they treated you. Glory be to God. Why? Because as a man thinketh in his heart, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Do you understand me? What you believe about yourself in your subconscious mind, that's who you are. And God said, because they said they was a grasshopper, God said that's just what they was. They was a grasshopper. Glory be to God. Oh my God. God said, I put a giant in them, baby. God said, they looking at the giant, but they done, they missed the giant that was on the inside of them because God said they were too busy looking at what was in the physical. But you got to understand this ain't no physical fights. Glory be to God. That's why David was able to slay the giant, baby, because David understood that this wasn't no physical battle. Do you understand me? David knew, baby. He said, I come to you in the name of the Lord. I feel the power of God. Woo! Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Say, I come in the name of the Lord. Business owners and entrepreneurs, I dare you to say it today. Come on now. God said, when you're getting ready to make your presentation in front of the board. Ooh. When you're getting ready to go before the board for that grants. Come on now. When you're getting ready to go before people to sell your services and your products, I dare you to tell the devil, I come in the name of the Lord. Woo! I came to slay the giant today. Come on now. God said, you're going slay giants, baby. God said they're going to be falling left and right. Ooh. But he said, you got to take me with you. Come on now. You got to take me with you. And that's what Caleb wasn't afraid of. Come on now. Caleb had confidence in himself. Ooh. Caleb believed in himself. And I want to tell you something, baby. To believe in yourself is to believe in God. Glory be to God. I want to ask you a question today. Woman and man. Come on now. Do you believe in yourself? Glory be to God. Do you believe in the power that's on the inside of you? Do you believe in yourself? Or are you looking at these people and looking at them and you making yourself appear to be a grasshopper in your own sight? Because God said that's in your sight. He said that's what you saw. God told me. He said, look in the mirror. 
e each and every one of you, you, if you can do it now, look in the mirror. If you can't do it right now, I want you to do it when you get off, get off this live. God said, go look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Go look in the mirror. And God said, the reflection that's in that mirror, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Woo. God said, the reflection that's in that mirror, God said, if you don't fix that image right there, come on now, because no matter what nobody else tell you, there's something that you see when you look at your own self. And God said, that's your self-image. Listen to me. He said, that is your self-image. And God said, until you fix that, he said, if you don't fix your self-image, it's going to cause you to forfeit your destiny. Glory be to God. Oh, yes, baby. I don't care what God got for you, gang. And he got big things for you. Because he said, I know the plans that I got for you. Come on now. He said, I got plans to bless you, woman. I got plans to bless you, man. But God said, all my plans don't mean nothing if you don't believe in yourself. You got to have confidence, baby. How can you forfeit your destiny? You forfeit your destiny by unbelief. By not believing in yourself and not believing in God. Glory be to God. And that's what happened with the children of Israel. That's how they forfeited their destiny. Because they did not believe in themselves. They did not believe. They had to die. They had to die and then their children had to come forth and pick up the baton and take this thing on into the promised land. And I'm telling y'all today, I'm finna wrap this up, but I'm telling y'all today, if you don't get up, woman, if you don't get up, man, and you keep sitting out in that fear, and you keep letting your fear stop you, you sitting out shaking in your boots, God done promised you some stuff, and you scared to get up and go get it. God said, if you don't get up and fight these demons, he said, your children gonna have to fight them. Your daughter gonna have to fight it. Do you hear me? Your son gonna have to fight it, baby, because God said the devil gonna be defeated, and God said, my purpose gonna go forth whether you move or not. God said, if you don't move, he said, I got somebody else that's going to do it. Come on now. He said, that, 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 that child that came from your womb, God said, I will speak to them. And God said, they will do it. Glory be to God. But God said, you ain't got no business leaving your work for your children. Come on now. God said, woman, you better get up today. Don't you let your fear stop you. Come on now. Don't you let your fear stop you, man. It's some men that's watching this live. You got some sons. God said, you got to battle this demon today. Do you hear me? He said, you got to get up and go forth in your purpose today. Because he said, if you don't do it, your son going to have to do it. Oh, my God. And this is what I'm going to leave y'all with. This is what the Holy Spirit told me. Oh, my God. Glory be to God. This is what the Holy Spirit told me. God said, he said, if you don't battle this stuff right now, if you don't deal with it right now, he said, what your children should be walking into. He said, what should be, as, what should be an inheritance for your child, they will end up having to fight for it and claw for it and scratch for it, which is what I'm doing right now. I got to work the ground. Do you hear me? I got to sweat. I got to bleed. I got to cry. I got to get it out the mud because the people that came before me didn't do it for me. Do you understand me? So I got to do it for everybody that's coming behind me. Let me tell you something. A lot of people love, one, they love, they love to want to say I'm called by God. Ooh, I'm chosen by God. Ooh, many are called, but few are chosen. Uh huh. Say what you want to say, baby, but this ain't no easy job. Do you understand me? Because you got the weight of the world on your shoulders. I feel like Jesus in this thing. Come on now. But I'm the, I'm the woman that God chose to carry it, baby. And I want to tell you something, baby. You the woman that God chose to carry it. Come on now. Your burdens may have been heavy, but God said they were heavy because of the purpose that's on your life and for the people's lives that you're going to change. You're going to impact people that ain't been born yet, baby. These folks ain't even been born yet, but they're going to watch your videos. They're going to read your books. Come on now. They're going to read your poetry. And God said it's going to shift their life. Ooh. He said it's going to change their life, baby. You got to understand that you cannot force forfeit your destiny. You got a decision to make today. And God said, if you choose left, he said, you can choose left or you can choose right. But God said, understand that the decision that you make is not going to only impact you, but it's going to impact everybody that come behind you. Don't you forfeit your destiny. Glory be to God. You better not give up what God then promised you. Come on now. Cause if you give it up, your baby going to have to fight for it. Your baby going to have to battle with that demon cause you were too scared to go against it. Because that demon ain't going nowhere. Do you hear me? It ain't going nowhere until somebody speak to it. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. It ain't going nowhere until somebody stand flat-footed in front of the devil and tell the devil, I can take you. Come on now. You got to be like Caleb, baby. Caleb said, he stealed the men. Glory be to God. And he pushed the men out his way. He said, let us go up at once. Ooh, and let us go possess it. Until somebody get bold enough. I feel the power. Woo. Until somebody get confident enough to say that to the devil. The devil going to keep on wreaking havoc in your family. 
until somebody stand up and say no more devil. Y'all put that in the comments. Say no more devil. This spirit of poverty is leaving my family in this generation. We ain't gonna be broke, busted, and disgusted no more. Come on now. We gonna live in the land with the fat grapes. Woo. We gonna be laying by the pool. Come on now. We gonna be living in the lavish abundance of God. Come on now. And not only is we gonna be rich in the flesh, but we gonna be rich in the spirit. Woo. We gonna be speaking in tongues. Come on now. We gonna be anointed. Woo. We gonna be laying hands on the sick and the sick gonna get up. Woo. I feel the power of God. God said that's the promised land, baby. And God said until you stand up and possess it, the devil gonna keep on running all over you. He gonna have a heyday. Now, nah. so you waiting on somebody to come rescue you. Ain't nobody coming to rescue you. That's what I had to learn. I used to sit around every day and feel sorry for myself. Sit in that chair feeling sorry for myself and with no power, with no authority, no smile on my face. And then I had to realize, Toya, ain't nobody coming to get you. Glory be to God. Ain't nobody coming to rescue you. God said you are the rescue plan. You got to get up yourself and go possess it, baby. That's what you got to do. Don't you let nothing or nobody cause you to forfeit your destiny. Glory be to God. And I want to speak to my women. You might be broke, busted, and disgusted. You might have a baby on your hip, one on your bike, one in your hand, one on your side. I don't care how many children you got, woman. Do you hear me? I don't care how many baby daddies you got. God said, don't you let that cause you to forfeit your destiny. Glory be to God. I don't care how long you've been working up there on that no good job. Come on now. I don't care how long you've been with that no good man. God said, don't you let that stuff cause you to forfeit your destiny. Glory be to God. Drop what you need to drop today. You got to pack light. Do you understand me? Because when you go ahead for the promised land, you can't take a whole lot of baggage with you. You got to pack light, baby, because this is a journey that everybody can't go on. Glory be to God. When you go stand before the devil, you can't have a whole bunch of dead weight with you. You need some soldiers with you. Come on now. Y'all put that in the comments. Say, I need some soldiers. Woo. I don't need no little puppies running with me. Come on now. If you scared of the big dogs, you got to stay on the porch. If you ain't ready, with, if you ain't ready to run with us, baby, stay up there because I don't need you. Glory be to God. I don't need you. Because where I'm going, it takes some faith. Woo. Where I'm going, it takes some anointing. Come on now. Where I'm going, it takes some power. And if you weak, you stay over there because I don't need you on my team. Glory be to God. I'm going to go battle this demon. Come on now. I'm going to go fight this devil. And my daughter ain't going to have to fight him because I'm finna put him in his place. Come on now. My sons ain't going to have to battle this devil because I'm finna put it in his place. And when my sons come into manhood, I feel the power of God. Ooh. And when my daughter comes into womanhood, they're going to walk into their inheritance. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. That's what you better say today. God said you better declare it in the face of the devil. Tell the devil, said my baby ain't going to have to work for what I got to work for. Because I'm going to make the way for her. Glory be to God. Uh-huh. And she going to walk into her destiny. Come on now. She going to walk into her inheritance because her mama fought it. Come on now. He going to walk into his inheritance because his daddy fought that devil. And his daddy defeated that demon. Don't you leave these demons for your children to fight. Glory be to God. And God said, let me talk to the women for a minute. God said, don't you sit up here trying to war with something. He said, you putting, he said, you got power, woman. He said, you just putting it in the wrong spot. He said, you sitting up there putting your power in trying to fight for that no good man. You sitting up there trying to put your power in fighting for that no good relationship. But God said, you need to drop that. And he said, you need to shift your power over here and fight for these promises that I done gave you. Come on now. Because God said, you're going to waste your whole life sitting up here fighting behind somebody that do not want you. And then your children going to come up and they got to fight for what you should have been fighting for. Glory be to God. They don't want to hear that, but that's the truth. Come on now. That's the truth, baby. Glory be to God. God said, you better fight for the promised land. Because God said, that's what's rightfully yours. Come on now. That's what belongs to you. You better fight for what belongs, for you, belongs to you. Because even though it's your destiny, and even though it belongs to you, it's not going to be given to you. Do you understand me? It will not be handed to you. You got to get up and you got to possess it. Glory be to God. That's what you see me doing. Uh huh. That's what I'm doing right now. I ain't playing with this thing because I got a land that I got to possess. Come on now. And I gave my life for this. Glory be to God. God said, until you find something that you're willing to give your life for, you ain't found your purpose. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Woo. So many folks talk about purpose. Ooh, purpose this, purpose that. Uh-huh. God said they put it on t-shirts. They put it on merchandise. Oh, purpose, purpose this, purpose that. But God said, let me tell you something about purpose, baby. Purpose was is what caused Jesus to die. Y'all listen to me. Purpose is what caused the son to give his life. He said, until you find a reason to give your life up, you ain't found your purpose. Glory be to God, because I'm willing to lay down my life for this thing. Do you understand me? I told God I'm willing to go all the way. Wherever you take me, I'll go. Come on now. And that's what you got to tell God. Because when you tell God that, God said, let's ride. 
Let's ride, baby. Come on now. Y'all put that in the comments. Say, let's ride. Woo. When you tell God I'm willing to give my life for this thing, God said, come on, woman. Let's ride. Woo. Come on, man. Let's ride. Woo. God said, we finna ride this thing until the wheels fall out. Woo. God said, I was waiting on you to say that. Woo. God said, I was waiting on you to come into that revelation. God said, now we can go. Let's go, woman. Come on now. Let's go get it. Woo. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. God said, let's go get everything the devil done took from you. God is ready. Let me tell you something. But God said it gonna take some faith, baby. And God said, not only faith, but he said, you're going to have to put some works with that faith because God, God got some things he want to give to you. But God said, this is a two way street. Glory be to God. He said, this is a two way street. In other words, God said, I need you to do the work in the natural. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing the work in the natural. And while I'm working in the natural, the Holy Spirit is working in the spiritual. Woo. Because there are some things in the spirit realm that you can't do. Woo. And that's when the Holy Spirit come in, baby. That's when the Spirit of God come in and move. Woo. But God said, my spirit cannot move until you start moving in the physical. When you start putting some works in that thing, that's when God release his anointing. Woo. That's when God release his spirit. And God said, go, 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 go send them help. God said, they need some help. Come on now. That's why he told Joshua, he said, I need you to go to the wall. Woo. He said, I need you to walk around the wall seven times. Come on now. But the Holy Spirit could not move in that thing. Woo. Until Joshua got up and moved. Come on now. That's why I know that faith without works is dead. Woo. Keep on sitting on your bench and on your church pew. Come on now. Keep on sitting in that church with that microphone. Glory be to God. God said you got to get out and you got to go to battle. Woo. He said you got to get out and you got to go to war. Because God said until you do that, he said, I will not release my anointing. Glory be to God. You ain't getting nothing from God, baby. You're going to stay in that same building and you're going to keep speaking to them same folks. But God said, when you're willing to die for that thing, come on now. He said, when you're willing to get out and give your life for it, God said, that's when I release my anointing. Woo. He said, that's when I release my spirit. Come on now. And God said, that's when I take you straight into the promised land. Glory be to God. God said, you're going to bypass these folks. Y'all listen to me. God said, it's some folks that have been preaching the gospel for 50 years and they ain't went nowhere. They still in that church out there in the woods. But God said, when you get my anointing, God said, I'm a, you're going to bypass these folks, baby. He said, I'm going to shoot you straight past these folks. Glory be to God. And you got to understand that folks going to hate you because of the move of God in your life. But you better not let that stop you. Come on now. You better not let that cause you to forfeit your destiny. Forget these folks. Glory be to God. I love y'all so much. I got to go. This was just a prelude. Now, if this was just a prelude, what you think tomorrow going to be? Okay. Y'all better be in the building. Do you understand me? You better be in the virtual building tomorrow, baby. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Tomorrow morning, 5 Friday. Y'all go to my website. I am LatoyaOkia.com. Book your session today. I got courses for y'all. I have a confidence course. You ain't got no reason to be sitting up there talking about you afraid, you scared. You ain't got to. God got resources for you. Nah. And God told me, God said, you people spend money on what they want. Because I'm like that. If it's something I want, I'm going to spend my money on it. If I ain't got the money for it, I'm going to get the money from somebody. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. So don't be talking about you ain't got the money. I don't even want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. God don't want to hear that. Because you go spend money on them hamburgers and cheeseburgers and hot dogs. And mink lashes and wigs and stuff. Now, y'all know I'm telling the truth. You might get mad at me, but I'm telling you the truth. You spend your money on what you want. So God said, how bad do you want it? Now, how bad do you want it? God got resources for you. You ain't got no reason to be letting fear stop you. You got, there's things out here to help you build your confidence. There's people that God done put out here to work with you. There is no excuse. Don't you let nothing or nobody cause you to forfeit your destiny. Okay? I love y'all so much. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Y'all be blessed.